okay, now you're under house arrest yeah. currently. We're not in your house. You're obviously at my office um, under supervision. Mm -hmm. You have a counselor with you. Yeah. How long have you been on house arrest? I would say like two, two years, two, four to eight months. Some, you know, something like that. Maybe a little bit more. And then my next court date in eight moments, so go ahead and I will add that in there, you know? So um, this is a, a pending, uh, a pending thing going on. This is not a, a house arrest situation where you've been uh, sentenced. sentenced. Nah, it's like a... And this is the punishment. This is something that's in the midst of something. Yeah, like right now I could still be locked up. I could still be, I could be in Rice Street right now. I went from Metro to Rice Street. I went from Metro, got out, and house arrest. I ain't really, I never get no bit trouble. I got a little trouble. I had to go to Rice Street for a minute. Got back, got back out. You know what I'm saying? Free, now, free the game, free, free Chase Trill, free Rick, all the bros who did all this time locked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know it probably, it probably hell. And then did 70, 70 months, something like, you know? Locked up with no, no, unguilty. You know what I'm saying? Unguilty. You was probably proven innocent to guilty. They doing sentence time like they get, like they didn't been, you know what I'm saying? Sentence. They was doing years. Just sitting in Rice Street, and it's it's really it's really messed up. The judicial system. Like I'm really blessed to even be right now having this interview, to be moving my career up. Cause there's a lot of people locked up. You know. How are you able to be under house arrest and not locked up like the other people you just named? It's really because my age is a, it's a big age gap. You know what I'm saying? They never went to Metro Juvenile. You know, they um they went straight to Rice Street, cause which they, is an adult jail. Yeah, adult it's, it's county less, jail. It's it's less flexible. When I was in Metro, I was kind of you know so I'm, a, I'm, I'm I I at least think I'm a smart person. So when I got locked up, I'm like, what can I do to get out? You know, um, shit, I went to education. I did my work, you know, so I wasn't getting involved with no gang activity while I was in, no, no fighting, you know? I'm really out in there motivating because motivating and a lot of the people, a lot of the kids in there already, you know what I'm saying, knew me, then people was getting to know who I was like, on the street, you know what I'm saying, like, oh yeah, I read, I just got off tour with, um, before I got locked out doing a show, show 21 Savage, stuff like that. So they, you know what I'm saying, they just like, oh, um, you know, I'm just trying to tell them like, like this shit real. Like, really wanted to get closer to God. I, just, I would tell all the kids like, read their Bible. When you get out, don't stay out the street. Then I was going to education. Um, it's something else I did. I got a, a letter of recommend. I got a, had the um, the whatever I forgot his name. He's like the highest person in the juvenile like who run it. You know what I'm saying? So right before I left the court, I asked him to tell the judge that I've been doing good. Like I ain't getting no fight. He told me he said you don't get no fights. Why you um your next court date? Uh, I sent a letter to the judge. You know what I'm saying? To say you've been doing good and it worked. I caught him right before I uh, got on the uh, got in the paddy wagon. I caught him. He come out. I caught him. He, I was like, you "Remember you said you gonna write me that letter? I'm looking for him before I even left." And then God, you know, God just come through. He just walked in, made one phone call. He called Miss Singleton. Miss Singleton told the judge I've been doing real good and that he thought that I would be able to comply on house arrest. And the judge um, granted my bond, signature bond, so the juvenile. So I just signed my name. They put me on house arrest. I had to wait like five days to the next Tuesday to get out. I've been out. What's the charge you're currently facing? Um, murder and burglary. And the only reason I would say they couldn't get out because they couldn't, the opportunity and the, and the route I took to, you know what I'm saying? To have more leverage when I went to court to get out, they don't have no opportunities like that. It's straight, you locked up. Everybody grown, you know what I'm saying? Come to court, go back. Ain't really nothing. 
So this is not one of those house arrests, you're on curfew or anything like that. This is 24, 24 hours. hours. Yeah, 24 hours a day unless I get a special, you know what I'm saying, pass to come and do something like, like this interview, go do a show. But I just start getting these passes and these privileges because the judge granted them. So, so that's you, a good sign. you are able to perform. Yeah, I perform sometimes. I can't perform like I want to, you know. Can't go on no tours. I got invited to a couple tours I couldn't take, couldn't go to. That would have been a good, a good boost for my career. You know what I'm saying? To be out touring 30 different states with a, a, a bigger artist. So yeah. So when you do perform, you have to have the uh, monitor on your, your body and. Yeah, all the time when I when I perform, I, um, I mean it don't come off. It never come off. When I'm out of town, I gotta charge it. Like, say I've been out all day. If it's finna die, gotta go back to the hotel, put it on the charger, and then I can go back out. Like, I gotta go back and charge, and then come back, you know, and go back out. I be at the studio, gotta go back to the hotel and charge. How um, easy or hard is juggling your music career with uh, this house arrest environment? Mm, it's really like motivation. You know, like a lot of rappers, um, I feel like at my age, they ain't really, a lot of niggas ain't really um, having nothing to talk about that they really going through, you know what I'm saying? It's something that art, but I really like, when I, I got a studio in my, in my room now, so every day I'm sitting in the room, you know what I'm saying, all I'm thinking about is my, my life and what's going on, so I'm rapping, I'm putting in my music, which makes better music, you know? Because it's really fans who, a lot of my, my biggest fans probably relate to me, you know? And they feel what I'm speaking, so. While you've been under house arrest, and you're 18 now, started when you were 15, in this amount of time, what have you accomplished? There are some missed opportunities, like you said, being you know, part of a major tour with a major artist that would help boost your career, but what have you been able to do uh, or accomplish music-wise? I accomplished every, almost every goal that I set you know, like, I I just, um, when I first got a house arrest, I ain't had no songs that reached. I had one song with a million, but it had a feature, you know what I'm saying? So really, my goal was, like, get a song to a million views with no feature. I did that. Um, what song was that? Dresser. A song called Dress is a new song with just me. That's just me. So long. Yeah, solo. Um, so the song with a million plays. And so then long. I had a lot of other goals. They just like regular goals, like get, you know what I'm saying? Probably like got my first chain and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Just little stuff, you know? Shooting like, music videos? Yeah, I shot my first music video on House Arrest. Like, wow, I shot my first music video on House Arrest. Um, Haven't dropped a project yet, though. Not yet. I ain't even know a name, worked on it. Cause it's it not time for it yet. When the, when the, I feel like when you give them all, you know what I'm saying, a whole, a whole bunch of music, I just want my fans to appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Like, appreciate it. When I feel like they, they need that, I'm gonna give it to them. Not yet. Not yet. Right now, I'm just working on singles, visuals. I like the visuals. I like to shoot the videos and stuff. That's fun. That has to be, well, that doesn't have to be done at your house. No, not now. At first it did, but not anymore. So the first video that came out that was shot at your house? Yeah, right on the back, on the back of the apartments. Shot in the back. Um, and now you have passes. Yeah. Been working with Cole Bennett, shooting videos. I only did two videos outside the house, one with Cole, both of them with Cole Bennett. Um, one in Chicago, one in Atlanta. The other one I did it like yesterday. What's it like working with him? Man, great. Like, that's my bro. Like, that's family. 
Shit, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Good energy. That's really my bro. How did you link with him uh, initially to shoot the first video? Did he come to you? You came to him? How did that opportunity uh, um, initially present itself? I think it was like my manager, Jake, him, he really, um, they really close. Like Jake, he 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 is a writer for Lyrical Lemonade, which is Cole's blog. You know what I'm saying? That's his com that's his company. That's his that's his thing. So Jake, you know what I'm saying? He probably was telling them you should shoot a video with Vance. And then when the song came along, I feel like Cole he gonna shoot whatever he think is really like he like. You know, he liked the song, so he was like, yeah, let's shoot that video. Mm. Just a natural thing, like Cole really like. If he fuck with you, he fuck with you. I'm sure there's a pro a lot of people watching this that would love to have him shoot their music video. Yeah, if he fuck with you, he'll shoot it. What's been the uh, response to both videos? The second videos come out, yeah. No, nah, first second video oh. we just shot a snippet, ain't even done yet. But it's, that's about to be crazy. It's a new song with Lil Sky. It's called Lonely. Um, I just made that. I just made that a couple weeks ago, and I sent it to Cole. And he was like, "Bro, this song fire, like fire as hell. Let's shoot it. You know, he gonna shoot what he like. So he liked that song. We shot it. Ah, so the first video's out now. The first one. Boom. Second one just shot. Coming yeah, shortly. The first one went crazy. You know what I'm saying? I got the most. I probably got a total of four videos, official music videos out, and that one has went up more than every video I'd ever drop in less time than they've been out. You get what I'm saying? What's the comments? What's the feedback? What are you seeing on the fans, internet? Fans love the music. They love it. You know what I'm saying? I, a lot of rappers get a lot of bad feedback. When I read my comments, I don't really get no bad feedback. I mean, it's always going to be a little bit, but in some people it's more than others. What I see, young bands fire, finally getting the recognition he deserves. You know, being on house arrest, not being able to maneuver but for the people who do know about me and listen to me on the daily, they like, finally, you know what I'm saying? Coming up more like people recognizing. So they're happy for me. The fans happy for me. If you were not on house arrest, and this is hypothetically speaking, if you were not on house arrest, where would you see yourself in the industry at this point at 18 years old? Can't even say, because say I never caught the case, never been on house arrest, I wouldn't be the same the same man I am today. I'd be a probably totally different person. I probably could have been dead, you know? Mm. Probably would have been dead because the lifestyle I was living, being on house arrest really gave me time to learn myself and, and, and really think about what's the big picture. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything, everything not worth it. Like, it made me tighten up what I was doing, be more wiser and smarter. You know what I'm saying? I still mess up here and there. I still fall back and I sometimes think about falling back into my old ways, but I know what it feel like to hit rock bottom completely. Like in the cell, don't know if I ever get out to see light again. And it's just like, when you, when you hit that point in your life, you really think about everything you should have done or you could have done better. And now that I had the opportunity to be here right now, even doing an interview at home, recording music, you know, networking, I, I'm going to take advantage of it and do the right things, you know what I'm saying, instead of doing the wrong things. And then also, I just want to inspire other kids to do the right things instead of doing the wrong things, because I wish somebody would have been able to touch me. I, you know, so my daddy couldn't really, he don't understand me, he couldn't express to me, like, how to be or how to act, you know what I'm saying? Because we wasn't totally two different lanes, you know what I'm saying? So all the kids out here who in the street want to do music, want to do that. If you want to do music, just do the music. And there ain't nothing in the street. There ain't nothing in the street except for trouble. No matter really which path you take, you know what I'm saying? You got to get in, got to get out. You never going to win until you quit while you winning, you know what I'm saying? You got to quit while you winning. And I, I almost learned that the hard way. I almost, you know what I'm saying? I still, in the, I, could, I could lose. I can go to trial and lose. I lost it all. You know what I'm saying? I lost. I ain't win. 
but I'm working on being a better me right now while I'm out. So if I do win, shit, you know? Let's say there's another juvenile teenager watching this. Mm -hmm. They just got under house arrest too. Yeah. And they're facing a pretty serious charge themselves. It's not their sentence. They're just, you know, uh, being confined while their situation's playing out. Circumstances could be different for everybody. Any general advice? Somebody in a similar environment like you I experiencing? Uh, Anything well, you would tell When I first them? got on house arrest, you got to look at it like this. This is how I always looked at it, and it's how it get me through it. Like, now that I'm getting more, like, leverage and stuff, it's kind of hard. But when I was just locked up all day, nonstop, shit, way better than being locked up in a cell. And they telling you, wake up, you know, um, eat this, put it, you know what I'm saying? You wake up to a bunch of niggas you don't know beating on the wall, beating on the door, shaking the doors, screaming. You got to watch your, watch your, watch your back every, everywhere, everywhere you look. You don't know these, I don't know these niggas. You know what I'm saying? I don't like I don't even like waking up. You know what I'm saying? Like in my own house sometimes when I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? You a kid, you wake up, your mama was trying to wake you up for school. You get irritated. Like when I was in jail, I'm like, man, I miss hearing my mama yelling at me, stressing me out to wake up. Come, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause I'm waking up to these folks I don't know. And then so much. Nothing really ever happened to me in jail. Tragic. But tragic stuff happened. Like I done heard stories. You know what I'm saying? Like when I first got booked in. I was um in, I was in county jail. I wasn't in juvenile because my charge was so severe. So they was like, oh, you can't go to juvenile with this charge. You know what I'm saying? They put me in there with the um 17 year olds in the big boy jail. And I'm getting booked in. Like, how old you? I'm like, yeah, I'm 16, 15. You know what I'm saying? He like, he like, oh, you about to go up there. They was like, the little boy jail raping all the uh, other little boys up there. He just left. Like, you lucky. He just left. He dead serious. I come back. Like what what the word was to one one boy was like really like doing that to another boy. You know what I'm saying? So you just it's better, you know what I'm saying? People around me care about me, my family. Even if you ain't in a situation where they care about you or they your family shit, they ain't you know what I'm saying? What's the worst? It ain't as bad as a nigga who would stab you with a knife for looking in the wrong way or trying to take your food, make you starve, trying to beat you up. Talk to you any kind of way, stuff like that, you know? So that's my advice. It's better than nothing, just look at it like that from that perspective. Find something you like to do, do that. Get you a girlfriend, shit, fuck with some hoe, text some hoe, call some hoe, pray, pray. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be in pray. That's the only way. That's the only way you going you gonna be able to have a peace of mind. Like, Cause God gonna help you. You just pray. Should be alright.